Yeah, great facility. Popped in there last week or two weeks ago and was really Very, nice. very, very cozy. Very cozy. And it's the season where uh, they got that hot apple cider coming out. Ah, mm. very nice, very nice. My favorite. Yes, sir, we. All right, Duck Hunt and Sora. Okay, so we're just going mains, mains. Got it. Yeah, we're tryharding today. That's what I can see from King and Maki Maki on the screen right now. Absolutely. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> There you go. So Very Duck Hunt, so oh, oh my God, Sora is fighting his friends. <laughs> Those are his best friends on the other side of the stage right now. Oh, how could this happen? The Heartless got a hold of him. The organization took his body. Font should have picked better colors for that. <laughs> That's Xehanort in there. But in all seriousness, I have no idea how this matchup pans out. I assume both players are just content to hang back. They both have app zoning tools. Obviously, Duck Hunt a little more in that department. The uh, whew, the noops, the signature noops coming in to play there. Definitely be getting a good taste here in the U.S. of what Sora can do. Kameme, you know, placing second at uh, Glitch a couple mm -hmm. weeks back, and then also getting top eight at uh, Big House. And just the, like you were saying, that uh, that frame trap in the can definitely working out for uh, Kameme, but also Helper had that on deck with the uh, Nair and then uh, the up smash. That said, Fun is not letting him set up. No. And I think that's the key here with this matchup, right? Ah, uh, ah, uh, the kingdom key. I see what you did there. There it is. There, yep, yep. yep. Right there. And as I've come to find out recently, Sora, like, Sora's Nair, because because of the arc and how he swings, like, it starts like it starts above his head and swings downward. Yeah. So he can catch you while you're shielding from behind him. Oh, dang. That's wild. And if he hits you, he drags you in front of him, and then the party starts. For sure. And that is heinous. Then you got to deal with all these spells coming at you oh. every second of the game. Good back air right there. Oof. Barely, Almost catches the Barely missing that. Yeah. Like you said earlier, I feel like Sora definitely doesn't mind dealing with these projectiles. Can obviously use his spells to beat them, you know, stop them in their tracks. And then also he's just, he can just move away from them with Though how none, he is. I will say oh. none of them, I was about to say none of them beat the can, but can certainly use the can to his own advantage. Right. Setting right. it that away. You probably, I was about to say, you could probably deflect it too and like, Send massive damage uh, Duck Hunt's way if they're content to just hang around it. Yeah. Still, still alive. By Silas T. That can usage is super tricky by Fawn. Fawn didn't do that. Helper actually used the air. Wow, that's him all the way up there. Oh, Helper nice. actually used the aerial sweep and hit the can toward himself. Oh, wow. I, I guess I missed that. Dang. That that's is. Nuts. We'll probably get that in the replay, but that yeah. is very funny. Uh oh. Ooh, big damage. Yeah. Caught the rollback. Bond just. Oh, that, wow. Good setup. Ooh. A little, more, little more rage. That would have done it. Yeah. All right, just up smash out of shield. Why not? Yep, yep. Now, this isn't, this isn't outside of the realm of possibility. Because Sora is definitely one. All right, called out that down air saying, none of that. Shame on you. Yeah. But, um. Pretty but, wild that that uh, traded. I was gonna say, um, Sora's definitely not one shy of edge guarding people super deep. Yeah. So if Helper could have gotten Fawn off stage there, could very well have turned that game one into his W, but not quite happening this time. And there's just that Nair 1 2 into Up Smash that was up, working up pretty consistently away. for Helper at the start of the match. And then these these setups here by Fawn were just beautiful to watch. Mm hmm. All right, we're actually jumping right back into the action, kicking off into game two. Um, and now we're fighting a hollow bastion. Oh my goodness gracious! This is the dark. This is the dark timeline of Kingdom Hearts. Lord help us all. Riku convinced Sora to steep into the darkness, and this is what's become. Now, as far as you know, the the thought to pick this stage for Helper, obviously, super canon, right? Great, beautiful. Of but course. how does you know that platform helps with? 
extensions on, on Nora's loop or Sora's loops. What what do you think? Is this a good stage pick for uh, for Sora? Um, I think Sora's fine on this stage. Never mind the hometown advantage. Yeah. Oh wait, that was second jump. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Oh good. good that's there. that's should be it. Yep, that's yep. it. Yeah. Very well done. Um, as for the rest of the stage itself, probably just wants shelter. Wow, goodness gracious. Probably probably just wants further shelter from like the can and the uh, gunman setups. Mm, I see. Yeah. Oh, all right. Because, like, right there, the can, you know, can't really mess with it when it's up there. Yeah. Font can still shoot it, of course, but uh, it's not going to go anywhere. That is... I have never seen that in my life. Did the counter not come out in time? So, the counter's a deflect. Oh, okay. Goodness gracious. Wow. So, counter... So, Sora's Counter-Strike can deflect projectiles, but the can can also harm its user. Oh, I see. So, I guess that just makes it ineffective. That's... A very interesting interaction. Did not quite getting the uh, bear there for the easy, uh, for the easy edge guard. All right, Duck Hunt is cooking now. Oh, all right, but nice, nice uh, recovery there by. Helpful. What a trade! What a trade! We take those all day. Just like you know what, I'm gonna go swinging. We grab the ledge, but that that's kind of the safety Sora has. Yeah. Sora Sora can plank ledge with the best of them. <laughs> that's gonna be up air, not not uh, not KO'd yet. Hold yeah. on, hold on. Wow, that. <laughs> I thought Sora had a little more wiggle room to like, like survival yeah. DI and make pass, but uh, evidently not. Sometimes I forget how light this character actually is. Bond just tacking on the damage here. Oh man, did it? Didn't detonate the can yeah, when he was standing right on top of it. I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, wow, that that was nice. That was yeah. it. He was nice with it there. Hold on, up smash. Mm. Nice. Actually, I don't know if that would have killed. Oh! Things are getting scary here. Again, not... That parry is so, so good. Vaughn getting it done with the up smash. The set goes to Donald and Goofy, piloted by Vaughn. Ah, now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. Well, were these going over your head this entire a, time? A little bit, but you know what? I'm I'm fine. I'm here with you. I'm here with you, Sonic Fiend. I'm living and learning. You know what I'm saying? But raw up smash Amen. getting it done multiple times here in this set. But it just seemed that as the set progressed, Fawn was doing a great job of just staying patient and setting up those cans. The uh, mm -hmm. what what are we gonna call their friends over there? I, I'm gonna call the shooter one there, McGavin. Actually, I don't know if the gunmen have names. All I know is. Oh no! It's like the second tallest one with the all orange getup. That's like their leader. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And he shoots the fastest with the hardest hitting shot. Yeah, Vaughn had these plate conversions on point, and then also having the the can there ready to catch everything else too. But great setup there. And you were saying mm -hmm. uh, with with the plate being thrown there and thinking with Sora's floatiness that they could sort of DI away from that, but seemed pretty true. But uh, ultimately, Fawn just knows how to play around it. Yeah. And that is going to be our last set casting today, at least for me. I don't know if we're going to be back on the mic. We shall see. Uh, I might be back on the mic later today. Uh, but that is definitely going to yeah. be it for me. I have been Sonic Fiend. Thank you all for watching, tuning in. Even if you just had us as background noise, we're glad for the audience anyway. Thank you for following Snap Freeze. I saw that. Yeah. So you can follow me at Sonic Fiend FGC. And where can they find you, Contraband? So I actually um, forgot to tell Devin at the start of this, but I do have a new Twitter. Okay. It's Contraband underscore SSBU. So feel free to check that out, and we'll definitely have so it. So if you're watching this stream, times. this is the last time you'll see the advertisement of Brian Bodega. Oh, oh there, there it we went. Hey, it's gone. We're back. <laughs> that's, what we call, that's what we call the live with the quickness. With the quickness. But yeah. Awesome. Great casting with you again, Sonic Fiend. Good likewise, seeing you. Likewise. Good luck in Bracket. Thank you, thank you. Hopefully we get to play. Haven't played against a good Sonic ever, so... Uh, there's about a couple of us left, but right. uh, I right. shan't waffle on any longer. Thank you all for having me. Have a great night, everybody. Take care. See y'all later.